The area around, around Ball Arena is about to get a mile high makeover with the creation of a massive new neighborhood of skyscrapers, bridges, housing, and businesses. Good evening. Thanks for joining us for Denver 7 News at 5 this Tuesday. I'm Micah Smith. And I'm Jacqueline Allen. First at 5, cue the cranes. We are following up on City Council's unanimous decision now clearing the way for Nuggets and Avalanche owner Stan Kroenke to build new skyscrapers and more on the on the parking lots all around Ball Arena. Denver 7's Veronica Acosta joins us live from Ball Arena. Veronica, this has major implications for downtown Denver. It does. Redeveloping the dozens of acres of parking lots surrounding Ball Arena. That is a massive undertaking. But as you all just mentioned, it is one that has finally gotten the green light. Kroenke Sports and Entertainment officials, they spoke to us for the very first time today about what comes next. A Stanley Cup, an NBA championship, the long wait is over. <laughs> and an NLL championship cup, all bringing undeniable excitement to Denver. The beating heart of that excitement, where fans watch the Avalanche, Nuggets, and Mammoth play, Ball Arena. I am very proud of what we've accomplished here. After years of planning and waiting, the dead parking lot surrounding Ball Arena will soon be injected with new life, transforming this space into something spectacular. We're going to have neighborhood here instead of parking lots. Affordable housing units, women and minority owned businesses, jobs and bike and pedestrian paths and bridges are all a part of the redevelopment plan, linking this area with nearby neighborhoods high on the priority list. What we're really looking forward to is a neighborhood here with residents, with restaurants, with bars, with with office workers, with the big park, with all the things that are going to happen here. The connectivity is critical. Connecting Ball Arena with the lower downtown neighborhood will be among the first phases of this project. The hope is that a new bridge over Spear Boulevard will finally and quite literally bridge the gap. Here in this neighborhood, uh, that's what we're really looking forward to. And when it comes to other aspects of the project, like where sports fans will park once the redevelopment is complete, project experts say there's nothing to worry about. In general, it's a shared parking or an unbundled parking scenario across the project. The ultimate goal, keep this heart beating while pumping new life into the area through a series of veins to nearby neighborhoods. And hey, the other big question a lot of people probably have is about the timeline of this redevelopment project. We asked officials that very question. They told us this could take anywhere between 25 and 30 years, you guys, for the project to be finished. Wow. In Denver, I'm Veronica Acosta, Denver 7. I guess we'll just have to be patient. Thank you, Veronica. That is quite the wait. <laughs>